In 1949, the United States was desperate to know whether the Soviet Union had cracked the atomic bomb and how to detect tests without spies. In early September, Hanford technician Jack Healy checked air filters on Rattlesnake Mountain and found a sudden spike in short-lived radioactivity. The pattern fit fresh fish and debris, tracing back to the USSR's first nuclear detonation at Semipalatinsk on August 29th. On September 23rd, President Harry Truman announced the Soviet test, proving fallout could betray secrets across oceans. Then came the ugly sequel. To refine detection, the Air Force and Atomic Energy Commission decided to create their own plume. On December 3rd, 1949, Hanford processed green fuel cooled only 16 days, releasing far more iodine-131 and xenon-133 than normal. The secret green run. Planners expected about 4,000 curies of iodine-131. Roughly 8,000 escaped, and weather trapped it locally before spreading contamination across Washington. Nearby communities weren't warned. The experiment stayed classified for decades, and later investigations grouped these residents with other Cold War downwinders. Dose reconstructions suggest only a tiny increase in thyroid cancer risk, but the real damage was political. People were used in a secret test without consent, and trust corroded for generations, still haunts communities today.